Hello, my friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of peace that He has given me, be with you as well, right now, from this moment and forever. Thank God. Pay attention. Pay close attention, my friend. Pay close attention. We all prayed. We all have done our part. We asked, we insisted, we cried out to God in order for Him to give us a government according to the principles that we uphold, which is the principles of the family and above all God's principles and also of the nation. However, we also included in our cry out that God would do His will and His will has been done. Thank God. Thank God. In all things, we should be thankful. You are not going to lose your peace because of politics. You are not going to lose your peace because of anything in this world, because this peace is permanent. If we keep our mind, our spirit, our intelligence, our capacity to reason according to the Word of God. So, see the, the text that God give, gave us today. He says like this, there in His Word, through the prophet Habakkuk, He says, Though the fig tree may not blossom, no fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, even though the elections, this election didn't go according to what we expected. Even though that the results were not what we expected, even though we have been disappointed with the results, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. The Lord God is your strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, deer's feet, the feet that move quickly, that run fast, the animal that runs fast, its feet are extremely fast, and he will make me walk on my high heels. So yet I will give thanks to God, whether it's A or B, Thank God. Let not my will be done, but His will. And His will has been done. And we are going to see that throughout time. Because He knows all things. He knows the past, the present, and the future. So when we trust our lives in His hands, then we don't have to worry. We 
don't need to lament, to cry, to murmur, to be sad, or to lose our peace. Because He, our Lord, is our flag, He is our strength, our hope is in Him, my hope is in Him. This is my faith. My faith is not in man. My faith is not in the president A, B, or C. My faith is not in people. My faith is not in my family. My faith is not in my in myself. My faith is in the Word of God. This Word it will be fulfilled whether people accept it or not, whether they believe it or not. This is my faith. This is the faith that we have been passing on, transmitted and taught people. The faith that uses intelligence, reasoning, the ability to reason. Pay attention. The Lord Jesus healed ten leprous men. Nine of them were healed. They had faith to be healed, but they didn't have faith, intelligent faith, and therefore they got the blessing and went their own way. But the only one that came back, he was wise. He went back there to give thanks and to recognize the source of his salvation. And he received exactly what he wanted because Jesus said, Go, your faith has saved you. My dear friend, this is the faith that has to lead the lives of each of us. It's not faith in A, B, or C. It's not faith in a church A, B, or C. It's not faith in religion A, B, or C. No, it's faith in the Word of God. The Word of God. The Word of God is God speaking. And His Word is His Word of honor. So, His honor is there, written for all those who want to believe. Whoever believes in God's honor believes in Him. Those who don't believe, what can we do? But whoever believes will be saved. And those who don't believe, as it happened with the nine leprous men, they were healed. They had faith to be healed, but they didn't have faith to continue. And our faith that is intelligent says, go back there and give thanks to the one that gave you life. And that's what you have to base your life upon. The one who saved your soul wasn't me or the universal church, but the Lord Jesus Christ in the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of faith. It's the spirit of peace. It's the spirit of life. It's the breath of life. It's the essence of God. And when you have this essence of God inside of you, then in everything you give thanks. In everything, everything. Even if the, the fig does not bear fruit, even if your husband or your wife hasn't converted, or your parents or your children, even if your life is not yet according to what you'd like, it doesn't matter. If you have the Spirit of God, you give thanks to Him in everything. This is the reality. This is the faith. This is the faith that Jesus said and, and that His Word confirms. Go in this faith and your faith will save you. That's what He said to that leprous man, in, in other words, to that ex-leprous man. Thank God. My dear friend, don't fight with anybody. Don't be engaged in arguments, in disputes with anybody. Dispute with the devil using your faith and you are going to overcome. And you are going to be saved because faith is born from hearing and practicing the word of God.
All right? May God bless you all. Let us go forward. Let us look ahead. We are not going to be crying over the spilled milk. There is no point in crying. Let's go forward because God is with us. Amen? May God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God.